Hi guys, what is it about the immigration issue that brings out the worst in people? Actually, I know. It's been weaponized for years by the Tories and those on the right. Dehumanize asylum seekers and immigrants, where the vast majority are just ordinary people wanting to either be safe with friends or family, or in the case of economic migrants, people coming to do jobs that the locals don't want to or can't do. A caller named Anthony phoned Talk TV claiming the majority of people arriving in Britain are breaking the law. He didn't specify which one, but believes they should be concentrated in some sort of camps. Yeah, he actually went there. Again, there's no deterrent to them coming. I mean, we should be treating them as criminals because they do come into this country illegally. I mean, as an ex-military man, there's empty camps all over this country. We could put them in those camps and treat them as what they are. They are criminals until we know different. They are criminals put them in the camps treat them as criminals process them and then if we need to kick them back out the country and as you said there may be one or two that have a legal reason to be here or a genuine reason to be here which might be five ten percent i don't know i don't know the numbers but the other 90 percent could be put and held in camps so we can't get into hotels we can't disappear i mean the rwanda policy it proves itself there's three thousand of them gone missing I despair at this type of rhetoric. I truly despair. So you have... So let's start from the beginning. He said the people are coming across the channel illegally. Now, it's not illegal to cross the channel and claim asylum. Why do we have to keep repeating this fact? It's a fact. It's not... There are no grounds to dismiss someone's asylum claim based on how they arrived in the country, be it on foot or be it by crossing the channel in a dinghy. You can't do that under UN conventions. So can we please dismiss this thing of they've crossed the channel illegally? I, I keep asking this question. If, the, if, it's, if it's illegal, then they've broken the law. What law have they broken? Please point to the law that they have broken. You won't hear any politician point to the law and you won't hear any commentator point to the law because the law does not exist. That law does not exist. Then he said, let's put them in camps. Okay, these people as I said before, have not committed a crime. Because you can't point to a crime. Once again, if they committed a crime, they would be arrested. They haven't been arrested. They're being detained. That's different. But you want to put them in a camp and treat them as criminals, even though they haven't committed a crime. You know, we have a long history of taking away people's rights and putting them in camps and prisons and treating them like criminals. It doesn't have a lot, it, it, we have a long history and it's a, it's a pretty sordid one. I, I would hope that we're not going back to things like that. How are you going to run these camps? You're going to concentrate people inside them. We've seen before in history how if you concentrate people in, in situations like that, you end up with diseases, rioting, all sorts of problems. And also, I don't believe there are sufficient camps in Britain to host all of these people. That's why a lot of people are in hotels and other types of accommodation. So there may be some camps, but I don't think they have the capacity. And then, of course, the camps would have to be upgraded because some of them have been disused for decades or years anyway. So none of this makes any sense. And then he also says it's a deterrent. We need it to be a deterrent. A deterrent against what? We're talking about people who are coming, a, a smaller percentage of people coming into the country. And of course, 70% of those who are coming in are successful in their claim when it comes to asylum. Not 10% as Andrew claimed, even though he said he doesn't know the figures. Not 10%, 70%. The Home Office itself has said a majority of people claiming asylum are successful. But there's also the economic migrants, those who want to contribute, those who want to work, those who want to do jobs that British people, and the same in Europe, don't want to do or can't do. Like if businesses can't find staff in the local area, they'll reach further afield. If they can't find them in the country, then they'll go beyond that. There was a time when British people, Europeans, young Europeans would do things like picking fruit and vegetables. That time has changed. We've moved on from that, whether you like it or not. And if you still want fruit and vegetables picked, then you're going to have to find far, um, staff from further afield. This is just the reality that we live in today. But someone wants to put them in a camp and treat them like criminals. 
even though they haven't committed a crime. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are great, greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.